Hello everybody. Rapid fire literary criticism 2. Are you ready? Ore. Okay. Guys, today we are going to start from romantic criticism. I hope you are ready. Did you revise before you came? It would have been good if you revised before you came. I have added a lot of good, good questions, okay? Very good. So, people are joining. We are going to have an amazing session. Starting now. Ta -da -da. Which of these is not a principle propounded by Rousseau? Which of these is not a principle propounded by Rousseau? Can you see guys? Is it difficult to read? Let me know. Do you want to change me to change the slides? I mean, I can change the size, not slide. One second, guys, so that you can read properly. ta -da -da. Okay. Which of these is not a principle propounded by Rousseau? Can you read now? Civilization is equated with progress. Did Rousseau believe that civilization means progress? Did Rousseau believe that we should return to nature? Did Rousseau focus on liberty? Did Rousseau resist corruption and mechanization? Which of these? Happy International Women's Day everybody. Thank you guys. Wish all of you wonderful Women's Day. Oh, Manjula Davidson, I don't know her. Bolo na, which of these is not a principle propounded by Rousseau? Civilization is equated with progress. No, Rousseau believed that civilization is against progress. Rousseau believed that civilization is against progress. Civilization corrupts us. Civilization corrupts the noble savage. We are all noble savages corrupted by civilization. We want a natural education. We don't want education and civilization in the normal sense. Which of the following is not a principle? That is the question. Dekhuna. Which of the following is not a principle? Rousseau, of course, said return to nature. Read properly before you answer. You are not reading properly the question. Wonderful Women's Day, guys. Wish you all wonderful, wonderful year ahead. International Women's Day. Yes. Okay, guys. Did you understand? What, according to Wordsworth, was the principal objective of the lyrical ballads? What is the main objective of lyrical ballads? Bolo, is it to choose incidents and situations from common life? Is it to depict nature with a colouring of imagination? Is it to present familiar things in an unusual aspect? None of these. What is the principal objective? He himself said, this is my principal objective. Bolo, na? What is the main objective? Is it A, B, C, D? To choose incidents and situations from common life? To depict nature with a colouring of imagination? To present familiar things in an unusual aspect? No, he said the principal objective of lyrical ballads is this, he said. You can't decide, he said it. He himself said that this is the principal objective. You can't decide whatever you want. Read carefully. Read lyrical ballads. Preface to lyrical ballads. 
Don't cook up your own answers, okay? The very famous statement, the principal objective of the poems in this collection is to choose incidents and situations from uh, common life. He said that. Okay, guys? What is the central idea of the preface to lyrical ballads? Bolo? What is the central idea? Is it that language of poetry is different from the language of prose? Is it poetry is a natural language? Is it that poetry should depict feelings and emotions? Is it that poetry is an expression of imagination? What is the most important idea in lyrical ballads? The central idea. Language of poetry is different from language of prose is not the central idea. Poetry is a natural language. Is it correct? Yes. Everything is related to nature in preface to lyrical ballads. Uh, no, no, no. In preface to lyrical ballads, Wordsworth is relating poetry to nature. Po the subject matter of poetry is natural. The language of poetry is natural. Poetry should depict feelings and emotions is not a central idea. This is the central idea. This is basic everything uh, in poetry he is connecting to nature. Even feelings and emotions. Your analytical skills should be very sharp. Only then you can answer in net. Whatever you see, don't say it is all there. Poetry is an expression of imagination. He did not talk about imagination as a central thing. Wordsworth did not talk about imagination as the central thing in poetry. How can you say everything is correct? This is certainly not the answer. This is also certainly not the answer. Out of B and C, this is more correct because even feelings and emotions are called natural. Poetry should be written in ordinary subject matter because that is closer to nature. Poetry should be written in ordinary language, simple language, because that is closer to nature. He says that, na? Did you understand everybody? It is not C, it is B. Poetry is a natural language. That is, if you think minutely, and I think M.A.R. Habib or somebody has said it also, that it is the central idea. Which of the following is true about Shelley's views on poetic imagination? You have to think. As soon as you see, don't answer. You have to think. Which of the following is true about Shelley's views on imagination? Shelley defined imagination as perception. Shelley defined imagination as a shaping power. Shelley defined imagination as the same as representation. Imagination is analogous to passion. Tell me... Shelley defined imagination as perception, shaping power, representation, passion. Bolo? Which of these is true about Shelley's views on poetic imagination? Tell me. Imagination is shaping power is Coleridge. This is Coleridge's definition of secondary imagination. Imagination is the same as representation is Kant. Kant, Immanuel Kant said that. Imagination is analogous to passion. Imagination is the language, poetry is the language of passion. It's like Hazlitt. It is, this is the answer. Shaping power is famously Coleridge and Kant. Shelley did not say that. Shelley said imagination is perception. Reason and imagination he compared and said imagination is perception. Please Google search and study Shelley's views on imagination. Like that you should Google search. Will you do that? Coleridge's views on imagination. Shelley's views on imagination. Will you study like that? Guys, then you will get more ideas and try to read more also. Okay guys, very very important. Will you? Did you like the video everyone? Reminding you to like the video. Many of you did not like the video. Will you like the video, please? Now, next question. About what did Coleridge say? 
about what did coleridge say it dissolves diffuses and dissipates in order to recreate it dissolves diffuses and dissipates in order to recreate experience or sensations are all recreated in poetry about what did he say is it poetry fancy primary imagination secondary imagination bolo did he say this about poetry did he say this about fancy did he say this about primary imagination did he say this about secondary imagination that is right he said this about secondary imagination he said this about secondary imagination isn't it very good which of these is coleridge's perception on poetry you can't read na i will show you which of these is coleridge's perception on poetry poetry is the language of the imagination and the passions poetry is the impassioned expression which is in the countenance of all signs poetry is the mind that works through the power of analytical imagination poetry is the best words in the best order bolo which of these is coleridge's perception on poetry everybody poetry is the language of imagination and the passions this is by hazlitt hazlitt said this okay poetry is the impassioned expression that is william wordsworth said that poetry is the mind at work through the power of analytical imagination do you know who said it i don't know myself shall i google search i forgot who said it poetry is the mind at work through the power of analytical imagination do you know who said it guys ayo i don't know you have to know we should study okay it is i don't know is it shelly maybe shelly he uh, divides the mind into reason and imagination Le reason is a logical progress and poet uh, imagination is perception yes coleridge said poetry is the best words in the best order i think uh, it is shelley who talked about analytical imagination isn't it shelley talked about analytical imagination yes yes i remember it is shelley synthetic imagination and analytical imagination will you remember guys synthetic imagination and analytical imagination will you remember it is shelly okay coleridge said poetry is the best words in the best order we both learned all of us learned it didn't we very good what are the two important aspects that govern poetry according to arnold what are the two important aspects that govern poetry is it truth and beauty knowledge and power delight and instruction reason and imagination bolo okay anita alia arnold talked about truth and beauty knowledge and power delight and instruction reason and imagination arnold talked about poetic truth and poetic beauty arnold famously talked about poetic truth and poetic beauty hena arnold no 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 it is poetic truth and poetic beauty arnold did not talk about delight and instruction it is poetic truth and poetic beauty two important aspects that govern poetry theek hai 
will you remember poetic truth and poetic beauty what according to arnel will never entirely lose currency with the world what according to arnel will never entirely lose currency with the world what according to arnel will never entirely lose currency with the world is it values of humanity high seriousness good literature or religion what will never lose currency it is good literature good literature will never lose currency good literature will always be needed as soon as you see arnold don't say high seriousness think again even though arnold did talk about high seriousness why would he say high seriousness will never lose currency with the world of course he won't say that aise kuch bhi bol dete ho this is the problem that happens in net also think again why okay he said poetry needs high seriousness but why would he say good high seriousness will never lose currency dekho na aisa bolega kya will he say that in in the world something will always be important what is it good literature isn't it he had an idea of canon he had an idea of the best that is known and taught in the world isn't it the best that is known and taught in the world that is great literature good literature if you think you will understand without thinking you see arnold you see high seriousness immediately you mark this is the problem this is the problem in the next exam don't do this think a little bit values of humanity will never lose literature possible high seriousness will never lose currency are wo to nahi hoga good literature will never lose currency good literature will always be there we should know what is good literature are you following me guys are you getting the trick in net you have to think a little bit dekhte kuch bhi kuch bhi mat likh dena it that is the problem okay just relax and this is like a game na 10 pm live just relax and think and answer okay that will give you practice okay guys no problem if you went wrong you will go right in the exam hena very good so a think a little bit and then answer without thinking don't answer deliberately they will give major terms like this so that the, you will be misled deliberately they will give like this thinking you will answer this and you fall into the trap don't fall into the trap okay we shall prevail we will think and answer theek hai this is not about knowledge this is about presence of mind this is about common sense sometimes if i show this to some school to some school student or engineer or somebody they will be able to say the correct answer because they are not uh, people with the knowledge of arnold they use common sense but our problem is we have knowledge so we don't use common sense did you understand theek hai okay which of the following ideas did henry james not advocate don't jump and answer read carefully read carefully which of these ideas did henry james not advocate did he say art is amoral did henry james say the novelist must be free which of these did he not advocate did he say realism should reflect the complexity of life did he say the novel is a personal a direct impression of life think did henry james say art is amoral art is amoral novelist must be free realism should reflect the complexity of life the novel is a personal direct impression of life it's a very easy question 
if you think all of you will say the answer the only problem was that you are not thinking exactly art is immoral he won't say immoral means morality is not there that he won't say art is immoral is something that henry james did not advocate henry james said that a novelist must be free henry james said that realism should reflect the complexity of life Re henry james said that the novel is a personal direct impression of life did you understand you will get the hang of it you will get to know how to do it don't worry okay slowly carefully we will read and answer okay aise kuch bhi bologe to isse fayda nahi hoga if you just answer something you won't benefit from this activity even if you go wrong now no problem slowly when you listen and pay attention then you will be able to answer okay net is not actually difficult many things are common sense questions there you become so worried you become so upset you stop thinking that is why many of you are not passing that is why many of you are making mistakes you have to relax think clearly use your common sense okay right what according to arnold is common to the touchstones what according to arnold is common to all the touchstones sorry they have the architectonics of poetry application of noble ideas to life possession of the very highest poetic quality criticism of life even if you go wrong it is okay but there is a think think what this is not that easy but still what according to arnold is it architectonics of poetry application of noble ideas to life the possession of the very highest poetic quality criticism of life some of you will go wrong but even then you should answer properly bolo actually bolo na sab log even though arnold said criticism of life application of noble ideas about touchstone this is the answer okay about even though these are all statements made by arnold arnold said keats has the architectonics of poetry great writers have application of noble ideas to life that also arnold said possession of the very highest poetic quality is what he relates to touchstones possession of the very highest poetic quality criticism of life also he said <coughs> even if you go wrong it is okay but dheere se soch soch ke karoge to you will remember okay guys don't worry what is the famous opening line of the picture of dorian gray bolo famous opening line of the picture of dorian gray all art is useless the artist is the creator of beautiful things there is no such thing as a moral or an immoral book none of these which is it all art is useless the artist is the creator of beautiful things there is no such thing as a moral or an immoral book all these are famous statements but this is the answer the artist is the creator of beautiful things that is the opening line of the preface to picture of dorian gray will you remember everybody the opening line of the pic pref preface to the picture of dorian gray art is a way of experiencing the dash of the object the object is not important do you know where this line is from how do you fill in the blank famous statement this is art is a way of experiencing the dash of an object the object is not important bolo what is the answer
Art is a way of experiencing the Art is a way of experiencing the Artfulness of the object Answer is artfulness Art is a way of experiencing the artfulness of the object. This is a famous line from Viktor Shkolovsky's Art as Technique. Yes, Ritika, 1917. Viktor Shkolovsky in Art as Technique said, Art is a way of experiencing the artfulness of the object. Yes, so, yeah, they go. Um, the theory of the formal method. Have you heard of it? The theory of the formal method is an important essay by Dash, which defined formalism as a scientific attempt to focus on immediately given empirical data rather than general schemes or theories. The theory of the formal method is a book by, is an essay by Dash. It defined formalism as a scientific method to focus on immediately given empirical data of the text. The text gives you some data. The text is data. Focus on the data of the text rather than on general schemes or theories. The theory of the formal method is not by Roman Jacobson. It is by Boris Asianbaum. It is by Boris Asianbaum. You should know it is not by Jacobson or Viktor Shkolovsky. It is Boris Asianbaum. Will you read extra about these writers, guys? Please read extra. Okay, guys. Okay. Who talked about algebraization? What is algebraization? Who talked about it, Bolo? Did you like the questions, everybody? And did you like the video? Please like the video, guys. Are you sharing the video in your groups? Please share the video in your groups and tell everybody, all your friends to join, will you? Who talked about algebraization, Bolo? It is Viktor Shkolovsky. Algebraization means automatization. Our perceptions become habitual, automatized. Our perceptions become habitual, automatized. And then we have to do defamiliarization. Our perceptions become habitual and automatized. And then we have to do defamiliarization. That is called algebraization. Algebraization means even your wife becomes familiar, too familiar. You stop looking at her, uh, you know, and understanding her. You take her for granted. He said that. Viktor Shkolovsky talked about algebraization. Okay. In the essay, Linguistics as Poetics, Dash argues that poetics is an integral part of linguistics. Poetics is an integral part of linguistics. Whereas most language is concerned with the transmission of ideas, the poetic function of language focuses on the message only. Defamiliarization is by Viktor Shkolovsky Shazia. Defamiliarization is a term by Viktor Shkolovsky, who wrote the essay Linguistics as Poetics and argued that poetics is an integral part of linguistics. Whereas most language is concerned with the transmission of ideas, the poetic function of language focuses on the message for its own sake. It is Linguistics and Poetics is an essay by Roman Jacobson. Linguistics as Poetics, Linguistics and Poetics is an essay by Roman Jacobson. Jacobson talked about the poetic function of language. Will you remember? He talked about the poetic function of language, which focuses on the message only. 
the poetic function of language are all my classroom students here they are not attending i am so sad i told them attend i will be explaining all this kahan gaye sab log any classroom students are here only 100 people in classroom itself there are 300 people where are they nobody is attending they are all lazy let me ask them questions tomorrow linguistics and poetics uh linguistics and poetics bolo i don't know nick goofy what do, what shall i tell you roman yakobson yes yes okay 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 many of you are here but so many didn't come you go and tell in your group ask them to come because these are all important things new things now i am explaining hai na right which of the following is true about the book meaning of meaning by i r richards and c k ogden meaning of meaning thank you classroom students sab log suno which of the following is true about meaning of meaning it focuses on close reading of the poems of d h lawrence and w b yeats is it true the meaning of meaning is a pioneering work on semantics is it true it draws insights from modern psychological research is it true it focuses on the linguistic problem of word meaning dhyan se padho everybody read carefully read carefully and answer okay afsan juali thank you which of these is correct sorry which of these is wrong it is mcq msq okay which of these is true it is msq more than one is there bolo which of these is true it is a close reading of the poems of dh lawrence and wb yeats is it true no it is not true it is a pioneering work on semantics is it true yes it is true it draws insights from modern psychological research true it focuses on the linguistic problem of word meaning true a b c d are true a is not true i made it up ah uh, a is not true okay rishav bera i just made it up d is definitely true b c also true a i made it up a i made up it is not about d h lawrence and w b yeats i simply made it up <laughs> okay yes very good classroom students please attend every day okay criticism and theory because it will help you i am going to explain everything once more so you will remember everything yes okay got it guys tana dang which of these works discusses the four kinds of meaning prevalent in language sense feeling tone and intention which of these works discusses the four kinds of meaning sense feeling tone and intention hi sri parna bolo na answer practical criticism seven types of ambiguity the meaning of meaning the verbal icon four kinds of meaning kaha hai don't jump and answer meaning of meaning yes 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 four kinds of meaning i a richard talked about in practical criticism four kinds of meaning i a richard talked about it in practical criticism hai na sense feeling tone and intention sense feeling tone and intention will you remember then practical criticism don't forget okay yes i am from kerala but very soon i might go and live somewhere else it is a secret i will tell you when i am ready now in criticism incorporated an essay published in the world's body who urges 
that criticism must become a serious business. It must move from historical scholarship to aesthetic appreciation and understanding. This means that the critic must study literature, not about literature. Bolo. In Criticism Incorporated, an essay published in the book The World's Body, who urges that criticism must become a serious business and must move from historical scholarship to aesthetic appreciation and understanding. Bolo! Who wrote Criticism Incorporated? Who wrote The World's Body? Yes, it is J.C. Ransom. J.C. Ransom. Rahila, boost is the secret of my energy. J.C. Ransom. Ta -da -da J.C. Ransom wrote Criticism Incor Incorporated, which is an essay published in the world's body. Here he said that criticism must become a serious business. Don't play with criticism. Move away from historical scholarship to an appreciation of aesthetics, beauty. Appreciate and understand the aesthetics or beauty. This means that a critic must study literature, not about literature. Don't read summaries, don't read about literature, read the book itself. This is what is called ontological criticism. J.C. Ransom talked about what is called ontological criticism. Means criticism of literature, not about literature. Criticism of literature, not about literature. Ontological criticism. Did you understand everybody? Clear everyone? Now, in the major essay, irony as a principle of structure. Do you know who wrote it? Dash suggests that poetry is like a plant. A structure made up of parts and which is complete and useful. Poetry is like a plant. Vaishnav's world, you should join my British literature course. It is only 3000 rupees. And I promise you, my classroom students tell Vaishnav's world, isn't it worth much more than 3000? So much material, so many lectures and discussions. Yes, join criticism and theory course, everyone. It is going to be really, really worth it. You will pass any exam. In the major essay, irony as a principle of structure. Who suggests that poetry is like a plant? A structure made up of parts, which is complete and useful. It is the relationship between the parts which creates a context out of which meaning evolves. The relationship between the component parts of a poem forms the pressures of context, which in turn create irony. My, my uh, British literature course is usually from 5 to 7 p.m. But you will also get recording to watch forever with lifetime access. Only for 3000 rupees. It is a bargain. You don't even get a sari for that price, you know. It is 5 to 7. You can WhatsApp our office number if you want. I am not trying to make become rich by stealing your money or everything. If you ask my students, you will understand. This is almost like charity. So much I am giving for that price. Do not think I am trying to uh, steal your money and get rich or anything. You know, nobody in their senses will do this. Just giving away so much information only because I am primarily a teacher, not a businesswoman. If you, are, if you believe me, good. Otherwise, no problem. Clean the Brooks talks about irony as a principle of structure. Irony as a principle of structure. Okay? If you don't join the course also, no problem. I am only trying to help you, okay? Don't think for God's sake that I am trying to steal your money. That is not my aim at all. Which of the following is not true? Bolo! In basic English, developed by I.R. Richards and C.K. Ogden, basic is an acronym. Ah, really? 
it has a core vocabulary of 850 words richards believed it would help to bring about international understanding richards published a version of plato's republic in basic english which of these is true which of the following is not true bolo which of the following is not true msq msq hai msq bolo na answer rahila my main class is 200 times detailed than every day at 6 every day at 6 is the beginning it's like a crash course Are this is a trick question, trick question. I cheated you, I cheated you. <laughs> All are true. Tarada, A, B, C, D, bolte rete ho. A, B, C, D, bolte rete ho. <laughs> All are true, guys. Basic is an acronym. Basic means British, American, uh, scientific, international, and commercial, I think. Commercial, I think. British, American, scientific, international, commercial. That is basic. <laughs> da da da. I cheated you, I cheated you, cheated you, I cheated you. <laughs> In basic English, it is basic is an acronym, correct. It has a core vocabulary of 850 words. <laughs> Richards believed it would help to bring about international understanding. He introduced it in China. I will add that here. Richards introduced it in China. And believed it would help bring about international understanding. Richards published a version of Plato's Republic in basic English. Did you know that? Tanadang, all are true. And that cheat question was the last question. I hope you liked the questions. <laughs> Did you like the questions, guys? Did you like the video, guys? Thank you very much, guys. Good night, guys. Tomorrow we will be. I will be back with literary theory questions. Ta -da -dang. Are you ready? Are you ready for literary theory questions, guys? Ta -da -dang. Okay. So that is what will be tomorrow. Oh, yo, Paban present. So sorry. Sleeping mood gaya uska. Oh, yo. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Bye-bye, guys. I'm going to stop, guys. Hare, suno, suno. This PDF is there in our Telegram. Telegram group. Well, let's test public group. Take the PDF every single day from that group, okay? All the Telegram is there itself. Tomorrow also 10 p.m. Every day 10 p.m. Except on Saturday, Sunday. Please join me. Bye-bye. Take care. Good night.